Hey mamas, welcome back to my channel. This is Haley with Let's Mama, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my tips, my top tips for getting a baby to take a bottle who is refusing. Um, my This is kind of specifically for breastfed babies that are needing to go to a bottle for whatever reason, but um, obviously if your baby is formula fed as well and won't take a bottle, these tips are gonna be really useful for that as well. So. Um, We'll go ahead and get started. If you're new here, please subscribe. We love to have new mamas. I come out with new mama tip videos every week. And go ahead and hit the bell so you get notifications of when new content's coming out. And we'd love to have you and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and these tips. But they've been super helpful for me and my little one. She was breastfed until 10 months and then I started drying up, um, or nine months, I guess. And um, these tips were really crucial. I didn't bottle train her before and these are what works for me. So I wanna share them with you today and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I guess tip number one is start young. <laughs> My baby, like I said, we were breastfeeding and I wasn't really pumping um, and so I never really bottle trained her and then nine months hit and I dried up kind of randomly and she really had a hard time adjusting to having to go to a bottle, um, even when it was breast milk and then eventually formula because we ran out. So as sad as it was, it was kind of a hard transition for both of us and it was just something kind of unexpected that happened. But for us, it was really a, kind of an eye opener that for my next baby, whenever that is, we really are going to be doing bottle training earlier on so that it's easier for mom and baby and dad <laughs> for that matter. So tip number one, start when they're young. Um, I would start if you're not going back to work at six weeks, um, maybe around then when you've got a really strong breastfeeding schedule going up and then the rest of these tips can you can kind of ease into to kind of start that bottle training process. But then obviously if you're going back to work right at six weeks postpartum, you're gonna need to start bottle training earlier on. Um, honestly, I've heard from several physicians that nipple confusion really isn't a thing and doesn't happen that often. I'm not saying it happens, it never happens, but um, I wouldn't be too concerned about that as long as baby is nursing really well. Um, then I think introducing a bottle at that time is is fine, but always check with your physician if you're having any feeding concerns, but that's tip number one. So start young. Tip number two is go ahead and head out of the house if um, you're needing to bottle train. So mom, you can't really be in the house, honestly, even if you, you think you can be. Um, when dad is bottle training or grandma or whoever the baby trusts and is trying to get a bottle take, go shopping, go out for a few hours um, and just let them have that time without baby knowing that you're around or that they can smell you if you're especially if you're breastfeeding um, and those types of things just make it honestly harder for you and baby so if you just kind of get out of the house they can commit to getting a bottle baby will eventually get hungry and you won't be around and they'll be much more likely to accept the bottle so that's my tip number two is get out so that mom or grandma or dad can give it a try um, tip three is to skip the bottle and go straight to a sippy cup so if you're, we actually tried this with our little girl. We heard this tip worked. It worked a little bit for her, but then she didn't really want to drink milk as much as she needed to at her age. So we kind of ditched that eventually, but this may work for some babies. And if your baby is older, like mine was, where they're kind of that sippy cup age already, maybe the nipple trying to mimic mom is kind of a refusal that the baby is just like, no, no, stop trying to pretend you're mom. Then the sippy cup might be a good option for your baby just because they won't feel like it's competition as much and you can still get the nutrients in that you're needing to um, without a huge fit from, from baby. So that's my tip for number three. Um, number four, I think we're on number four. Anyways, um, try a middle of the night feed. So if your baby's younger and they're still waking up in the middle of the night to, to breastfeed or whatever um, you guys are doing in the middle of the night to feed, go ahead and try a bottle feeding then. When they're kind of half asleep and they're hungry and they're upset, they might just take a really nice warm breast milk bottle really well at 3 a.m. or whenever. Um, but that is a tip. Um, my little girl wasn't really waking up, so we didn't get to try that one as much. But I've heard this works for some and it honestly makes a lot of sense to me, especially if your baby's younger. So go ahead and give that a shot. Um, tip number five is to try a new bottle brand. So super funny. We tried, let's see, I don't even know how many, a lot of different bottle brands. And um, we tried Dr. Brown's for sure. 
Um, I have the kind bottle system, which my son loved, but I also bottle trained him a lot earlier. And then um, we ended up with a nuke. So this is so funny. So there's so many expensive bottles out there. This is literally something you can get at Walmart. And I honestly, I've heard from several sleep coaches, from some breastfeeding experts that they love this bottle. And I, when I looked at it, it's actually kind of like ribbed like mom. Um, the nipple is definitely shaped more like mom. It actually has multiple holes that the milk comes out of just like mom. And um, so I thought, you know, heck, let's give this a shot. Maybe she'll think it's more like me because she was really having a hard time that we weren't breastfeeding as much anymore. And um, she ended up taking this one the best. So. Walmart, I'll link this stuff below so you guys can find the best bottles that work for you because I also have heard from several people that some more expensive ones, if you are needing to and your baby's younger and you'd like a nicer bottle for them, kind of going forward for them to kind of get attached to. Um, Komutomo is one of the ones I've heard is amazing for breastfed babies specifically. Um, and then Mimi Jumi is also another one that's great for breastfed babies that are transitioning to bottle feed. So. I'll link those below. You can give those a shot. Let me know what you guys think. If there's a bottle that works for you guys, go ahead and put that below. Some moms might be scrolling through the comments as well later on to kind of get ideas for their babies too, but it's kind of trial and error, which is annoying because you have to buy the bottles obviously in order to try them. But new bottle, that's my next tip. Okay, so tip number six is try a new nipple flow. Um, this is just because um, even us moms, we let down at different speeds and stuff. So you may think, oh, my baby's younger, so he's gonna want a slower nipple flow versus my baby's older, so they want a fast one, whereas babies might just want a different nipple flow just because their mom is different. Um, some younger babies might want a faster one and some older ones might want a slower. So kind of switch out the nipples, see what kind of works for your baby. Also, I kind of find that when they're learning how to take a bottle, it really seems to be helpful when they are not wanting to suck on the nipple for the milk to come out a little easier and for them not to have to work for it super hard. So I would kind of go to a medium or faster flow at the beginning just to get some of that breast milk taste in their mouth so they know what the bottle's for, they know what's coming out of it, and they like it. Um, and so that's kind of my next tip. Um, next after that would be, you have this is like a must, but you have to be in a calm environment. I would try, I personally was actually trying to bottle train my girl at first and it just did not work. So don't even try mama, hand it off to someone else. But calm environment is really important. Um, make sure that dad or grandma or whoever is going into kind of a quiet room where maybe you normally breastfeed or where they're normally laid down just so that they know, oh, like I normally eat in here. So this might be what we're trying to do right now. Um, I would kind of give that a shot, but just make sure that there's dim lights, they're not hearing a ton of ruckus and their siblings running around like crazy or any other loud noises, um, just so that they can kind of focus and go, oh, okay, it's eating time. Because I know even nursing babies, when I'd be nursing my little girl or my little boy when he was little, you know, if there's a loud boom or something and they're old enough, they're like ripping the nursing cover off trying to see what's going on. And so even more so if there's a bottle involved and they're not really enjoying that experience anyways. So that's the next tip is calm environment. Um, so what I would do next is try to do the same time each day. And that way um, your baby kind of starts to figure out, okay, hmm, around 7 p.m. I'm getting this thing in my mouth and mom and dad really want me to drink this. Um, it kind of will be more like a schedule just like babies love anyways, and it might help them take the bottle then. Um, so, okay, I got a couple more tips left. Okay, so my next tip is make sure the bottle is warm and the nipple. So if you're doing breast milk or formula, either one, make sure that the liquid is nice and warm, obviously not too hot, but mom's milk is warm and they usually don't like drinking lukewarm or cold things. So that's the tip for that for this stage, um, is definitely make sure that your, your liquid is warm, but then also I stick the actual nipple piece in some really hot water for a little while just to really warm that up and that way by the time I bring it to baby, it's like a perfect temperature just like mom would be and that would really help them to take the plastic when they're not super used to it and they don't love it. Um, so try that and try warming it up and that might really help you guys. Also, you can pour a little breast milk on the nipple as well. Um, and like with this one, I could just kind of squeeze, most bottles you probably can do this and get some of the breast milk just on the nipple itself um, and that really helped my daughter to kind of figure out oh there's breast milk in this and I really want to drink that 
Um, I don't know if that will work for sure because they still don't want to actually latch on, but it's a tip that if you're doing it with the rest of these can really help them eventually to do it. And honestly, by the time they, you know, kind of just are like, okay, I'm done being stubborn and they latch on, it's kind of done then. They don't like keep, keep acting up. So it's just kind of a push through, but all these tips should really help you guys. Um, last tip, this is, a, this is a good one. Um, I feel like this helped me the most, honestly, but I heard from several people to, you know, make sure that your baby is not starving when you're trying to feed them from the bottle, just because they're already mad. So when you're putting then a bottle in their mouth, they're just going to be extra mad and feeding won't go well. It won't be peaceful, which I a hundred percent agree with. So I kind of went the extreme and we just, we bottle fed when Ava wasn't really hungry yet um just to kind of prevent that starvation mode um but then when i realized like she's not latching on because she's not wanting it bad enough and we kind of switched it to we only bottle trained her when she was hungry um but not the point of starvation then she actually latched on because she was ready for a meal so give that a shot um kind of figure out what works for you guys these tips you know try them all interchangeably but um, these are really what helped me. And like I said, if you, if you actually wait till they're hungry, they seem to really want that bottle a lot more. Um, we didn't really struggle with the starvation is issue as much as she needed to be hungry enough in order to wanna take the bottle. So those are my tips. I hope these were really helpful for you guys. I hope that your baby doesn't refuse the bottle much longer. I know it's super stressful. I've totally been there. So I hope these tips helped you. Let me know in the comments what worked for you, what you tried, what failed, and I hope your journey goes smoothly. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Like I said, subscribe. We'd love to have you and we'll see you later.